The challenge of the Yukon. On King! On you, Husky! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge and justice ruled triumphant. People always look twice at Big Bill Calhoun. Not because of any sartorial elegance, Bill's clothes were never pressed and seldom washed, but because he was such a mountain of a man. Big Bill could be a tower of fury or a good-natured hulk shy to the point of embarrassment. On an early spring morning, as he strode down the main street of Whitehorse, he spotted three men whose sled had frozen fast on the icy road in front of Annie Johnson's restaurant. The men were lashing their straining dog team mercilessly, and Big Bill's voice roared at them in sudden fury. Hey, you idle-headed bastard! Quit hitting them dogs that way. Come oh, on, your own business, or you'll get a taste of this whip yourself. Get out, you pack of flea bitten wolf meat. Well, listen, you lily livered whelps. Put down them whips, or I'll bust all your skulls together. Ah, oh, shut up and go on about your business. Go on, mush! I'll show you whose business it is, you rot faced weasels. Give me that whip. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Hit me with it, will you, while you weak knee baboon? How do you like that? Come on, let's get this guy. Yeah. All right, come on, both of you. Come up behind me, will you? Hey, look at the fight. It's Big Bill. And you're the last. Now I'll get them whips. Golly, Bill, you knocked all three of them out. What happened, Bill? Oh, they was beating their dogs, the dirty weasels. Well, what's going on? But, oh. Yeah. Oh, Annie, she was... Bill Calhoun, you've been fighting again. I saw it all, Annie, Annie. Those men were beating their dogs, and Bill knocked them all uh, out. I, I'm sorry, Annie. I uh, I must have lost my temper for a minute. A minute? Huh. I'm glad it wasn't longer than that. You better come in my place. Let me fix that eye. Oh, Annie, that, that ain't nothing. Uh... Keith, get some men take care of these three carcasses lying there. Take them into Jim's bar and bring them to. Sure, Annie, sure. Come on in, Bill. Oh, and Annie can fix black eyes something wonderful. Oh. Now, Bobby, you know it ain't right to get black eyes. Sit down there, Bill. I'll get something for that shine. Gee, Bill, when I grew up, I hope I can fight as good as you. Bing! One fell over the sled. Bang! The other almost turned a somersault. Bang! Bobby, the other went... Bobby you should never fight. It, it, well, it, it ain't, a, ain't a nice thing to do. You ought to... Well, you ought to count ten before you lose your temper. You ought to... All right, Bill. Drop time to lecture. You ain't any good at it. Well, I was just trying... You trying were just to... trying to remember what I'm always telling you. Now, let me put this raw beefsteak on your eye. Gee, Annie, that's wonderful. That, that's awful. You know, it seems like an awful waste of good meat. Here, now. Hold on to it while I tie this bandage. But, but I won't be able to see. Well, you can look out the other eye, can't you? Hold still now. Oh. There. Hello, Bill. Hello, Sergeant Hello. Preston. Hello. Hello, Sergeant. Oh, there's King. You're coming after me for disturbing the peace, Preston? No, Bill, but I helped pick up the pieces you left. Guess you had a perfect right to do it from what the boys tell me. That... Uh, did they get cut you short? Well, you messed them up, all right, but nothing too serious. <laughs> Hello, King. How are you, boy? Let me pat you, you old scamp. You. Why do all dogs like you so much, Bill? It's because Bill knows all about them, Bobby. He's the one man in the Yukon I'd trust with King. Oh, King and me is old pals. How's his foot now, Sergeant? It's been fine since you fixed it. I don't approve of fighting, but I'm mighty glad Bill beat them men up. They was abusing their dog something fearful. Gosh, Annie, that's the first time you ever said a thing like that. Well, they're just here for a day or so. I'm glad they're moving on. <laughs> Look, Bill's beating as I meet the king. Bill Calhoun. Uh, oh, uh, well, Annie, you see, it kind of slipped out from under the bandage. Anyway, it cured my eye. It feels better. I guess he'll live, Annie. <laughs> Come on out and look at these dogs, Bill. They may need some attention. Uh, sure, sure. They was beaten pretty bad. 
Come back before you go home, Bill. I get to cut pie for you. Oh, gee, Annie, that, that's awful nice. You're a, you're a one... You're, you're, All you're right, one. Bill. Come on. Checking. Bill, I'm going to bring my puppy over. He's a little sick. Sure, Bobby, bring him over. I'll fix him up. Annie Johnson's a fine woman, Bill. She sure is. She likes you, too. Oh, I... She needs a man to take care of her, and Bobby... But she'd marry you if you asked her. Oh, I ain't good enough for her. She's, uh, she's a... You've been crazy about her for two years. Why don't you ask? Well, I'll tell you, Sergeant. I can talk my darn fool head off to men, and I can talk to dogs. But when it comes to talking to Annie, I... Well, my face gets hot and... And, and I... your feet get cold. I know. <laughs> When young Bobby entered Bill's cabin the next morning, he found the big man hunched over a table, his face screwed up with the effort of writing with a stub of a pencil, which he moistened nervously with his tongue. Hello, Bill. I brought my puppy over the way you told me to. Hello, Bobby. I'll look at him in a minute. Lie down there, boy. What are you doing, writing a letter? Just practicing. Uh, Bobby, you are a good speller. Sure, I can spell fine. Well, um... I take the word love, for instance. Would that be spelled L-U-V? Oh, no, it's L-O-V-E. Oh, it is. Uh, don't see why it has to be so complicated. Why don't they spell things the way you talk them? Why do you want to spell love? Oh, it's just curious. Now, um, take the word marry, for instance. Would you... Would you spell that, uh, that wouldn't like a girl's name? You mean if a man marries a woman? Well, yeah. No, there's only one R in a girl's name and two in that kind of marry. Two, huh? Yeah. Funny about names. Now, uh, take the name, well, Annie, for instance. That only has one N, I expect, if the name Mary... Oh, no, it has two Ns. Hey, Bill, what are you writing anyway? Oh. Nothing, nothing. We better have a look at that dog he does. Three men were mushing along the trail out of Whitehorse the following day. Pierce Logan grumbled as he strode along behind the others. I don't see why we couldn't have waited and got even with that big gorilla. You're yellow, that's all. Well, you're just plain crazy, Pierce. Hang big, big, big bell clothes like fighting a locomotive. I'd like just one crack at him when he wasn't expecting it. To get even for this bash nose he gave me. Yeah, he sure flattened it, Pierce. You ain't very pretty. My jaw won't never be the same. It hurts to talk you. Hey, look. What's that way over there going through them trees? A bear? Bears don't walk on their hind legs. Hey, it's Bill Calhoun. Oh, oh, yeah, Husky. Oh, oh. Hey, what you doing, Pierce? What if it is, Big? Must be him. Ain't nobody else that big. Well, let's get out of here quick. I don't want no part of it. Oh, I do. I'm taking a shot at that no-good grizzly. Why, Pierce, you ain't gonna shoot him. We ain't murderers. I ain't aiming to kill him. I'll hit him in the leg so as he can sit in the snow and think about us for a while. You hit him. He fell. Come on, Pierce. Even if he just has one leg. I don't want to be in the same county with that one-man tornado. Mush, you huskies. Mush. When not on duty, Preston often let his lead dog run free, and King was enjoying just such a holiday. He had been pursuing a rabbit through the woods when he came upon a fresh scent that took him off in another direction, the scent of his old friend Bill Calhoun. He heard the Mig Man before he saw him. Big Bill was sitting propped against a tree, and his voice bellowed through the forest in futile fury. You blasted pack of slimy weasels! You back-shooting young farmers! You sow one inch of your mangy hides and I'll grind you into bits, Peter. My leg, I... Shooting and running, you rotten, cowardly bunch of blood. King, where'd you come from? Come here, boy, come here. I guess you're going to have to help me. I can't crawl back to town. Could you find Preston, King? Sure you could. Now, wait, maybe... I got that pencil in my pocket. Sure was lucky you'd come along. Here, 
Now, what'll I write on? Here, Supreme. Now, you wait till I write this note, and you can take it to Preston. He'll come and get me. Sergeant Preston was just turning in to Annie Johnson's restaurant when he saw King trotting down the main street. Here, King. Come here, fella. Hi there, boy. Have a good run. Come on in here, boy. Hello, Sergeant Preston. Hello, Annie. Well, I'm your first customer. Nobody here. Quiet, King. What's wrong with you? Sergeant, look. What's that hanging on his collar? Piece of paper, ain't it? Come here, King. Yeah, someone tied a note on him. So that's what's wrong, is it, boy? What is it? Well, let's see. It says, uh, Dear Annie, I can't tell you this to your face, but I love you and what? want you... Well, Annie, I I shouldn't be reading this. It's for you. Here. For me? But what... Ooh, why, it's from Bill. Bill? <laughs> Poor fella. I guess he was too shy to propose any other way. Crazy old coot. I've been waiting for two years for him to say this. A couple of times I almost lost my pride and asked him. He thinks he isn't good enough for you, Annie. Good enough for me? Land sakes, he needs me to take care of it. Look, Sergeant, here's some more writing on the back of uh-huh. this. Shocking leg, follow King, trail north. Bill, oh, Sergeant, Bill's hurt. King must have found him. Oh, hurry, hurry. You bring him right back here. I have things all ready. Sure, Annie. Guess it's up to you to take care of your future husband. Come on, King. We're going to find Bill. <laughs> Preston had finished tending Bill's wound. The big man, his bandaged leg stretched out in a chair in front of him, heaved a sigh of contentment as he looked about Annie's small living room. Oh, this this sure is nice. I I feel fine, Sergeant. It isn't too serious, Bill. You'll be all right in no time. Here's some good hot tea for you, Bill. Oh, gee, Annie. You're going to too much trouble. You shouldn't do all this. Well, she might just as well practice up a little, Bill, now that you two are going to be married. Married? Bill, now you went and spilled your tea. I'll get it, Annie. But, but I, 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 uh, I got your note, Bill. Funny way to get a proposal attached to a dog collar, but it's sort of like you to do it that way. Gosh, Annie, I, I don't know how you... Anyway, Captain, you sure took a long time doing it. Gee, Annie, I... I'm glad it... Why, gee... You better get him some more tea, Annie, before he faints. Sure. I'll have it for you in a minute. Well, don't look so flabbergasted. It's what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, how did she know? I saw King just as I was coming in here when he brought you a note. You'd written it on the back of a letter, Lanny, so I gave it to her. But uh, I was just practicing. I've read lots of them, but... But uh... you never had the nerve to send them. Well, King fixed that for you. Here's your tea. Now be careful. Oh, gee, Annie, you're, you're wonderful. Thanks. And now, King, I guess we better get on the trail of those men who shot Bill. No, Sergeant, don't trail them. This mosquito bite on my leg ain't nothing, and and even if it was, I'm I'm glad they done it. You mean you don't want me to arrest them? No, sir. I figured they'd go down scar... I mean, people done me a favor. They got me, Annie. Oh, Bill. Well, it's true. If it hadn't been for them and King here, I probably never would have had the nerve to do it. Yes, fella. This is the first time you've ever played Cupid. But as usual, you did a good job. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters named places and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and to you from our transcription studios. Hal Neal speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.